The proposed sale of Arsenal Football Club to be taken over by Stan Kroenke still hasn't gone through. Alicia Usmanov, the Russian oligarch, has agreed to sell his share, but the 400 or so minority shareholders around the world have put a slight spanner in the works by blocking the initial proposal, and maybe delaying things, maybe making Stan Kroenke attend one last uncomfortable AGM at the end of the month. They've got to decide whether or not they want to take it on or not. Well, Stan Kroenke currently owns 67% of Arsenal and Alicia Usmanov has agreed to sell his 30% share. That was a deal announced to the London Stock Exchange already. If the deal was to go through, the club would be valued at around about 2.3 billion US dollars. So a huge amount of money. The things haven't started too well on the pitch for Arsenal because they lost 2-0 in their opening Premier League game to Manchester City. And I've been speaking to former Arsenal and England striker Ian Wright, who's been voicing his concerns about just one man owning the club, especially if that one man is Stan Kroenke. It worries me simply because if you look at the, the form of Stan Kroenke and his businesses and his franchises, it's not, it's, he, he doesn't seem to be... The kind of owner that is, is, is uh, investing into a, a franchise or a club, what I'd like to call it our club, because he wants sporting achievement. It doesn't seem like that's his, his goal. And we are, in a, we are in a league, arguably the greatest league in the world. In fact, I think it is the greatest league in the world where we want to challenge. We want to, we, want to, we want to be up there. We want to win the league. We want to win the Champions League. We want to be at the top of the Premier League. We want to be doing that every week for our fans and that's what our fans want, that's what we're used to, that's what we've had in the past. And so when you've got an owner like Stan Kroenke who's literally just regurgitating the money what's in there to try and buy the players and without buying those stellar marquee players that you need, stellar marquee players that people like Abramovich will go out and buy, the Glaziers for an American owners, you know, the same with, uh, with, with Liverpool's owners, they go, they give their manager money, they, they give him the, the capability to buy the players that's going to compete. And I don't believe that we've got an owner that does that. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.